Welcome everybody. How's everybody doing today? Uh, I guess that everybody is virtually learning at home right now. How's that coming? How's that going for you? I hope it's better than the experiences my granddaughter is having right now. She's having some problems with the uh, computer and everything. So I hope you're doing a little bit better than she is right now. Uh, my name is Mr. Paul. I'm an artist and an art teacher. And uh, today uh, we're going to do kind of a fun project. It's called Don't Be a Bully. Um, you know how everybody experiences bullies sometimes. I know that I did. Uh, before we get into it, I want to talk to you about what we need for materials. Uh, we need just regular white paper, some pencils, some erasers, and um, and either some colored pencils or um, some crayons, something to color with when we're finished. Uh, this is going to be the first part of this project, and um, I hope that you can kind of get into it. Uh, I would like to talk a little bit about um, bullies. How many of you out there have had problems with bullies? I would say most people do. I know that I did. I was um, a short little kid that had, you know, some issues. Not a lot, but uh, just like probably most of you out there. Um, let's talk about what a bully is. A bully is somebody that wakes up in the morning feeling bad about themselves and they decide to come to school or go to work and just make everybody feel the same way they do. And it's a real, real drag, especially if you're short like me. Um, what do you do? What do they do? What do bullies do that make them bullies? Well, one of the things they do is they just try to make you feel bad about yourself. They sometimes hurt you physically, and a lot of times they they hurt you in your heart. They make you feel that you're worthless, no good, that you're silly, that you're dumb, you're fat or too skinny, whatever. They use whatever it is to make you feel bad about yourself. And they all also make you feel fearful. I know I had this one guy that's, that he never hit me or anything, but every time, this was back in the fifth grade maybe, every time I saw him in the hall, he'd just look at me mean. And every time he'd do it, I'd just kind of clench up inside because I just figured one of these days he's gonna come and hurt me. He never did. But he got off on making me feel scared all the time. And that is just wrong. Nobody, now listen to me, nobody has the right to make you feel scared all the time. Uh, the project that we're going to do today is um, we're going to make a poster. Um, is this poster kind of like this. Um, we're going to um, have words and a picture of what you think a bully looks like. Um, when I talk to a lot of kids, they tell me, oh, bullies are ugly and mean and giants and they just, you know, they're ugly, they're like monsters, but actually, know as well as I do, right? They're not. They can be people in the hall. They could be a brother or sister. I know that I had a kind of a bully older brother when I was growing up. It can be an aunt, an uncle, a teacher, uh, a next door neighbor. It could be anybody. I remember once a young girl was telling me that that she goes, Mr. Paul, can it be a girl? And I go, well, what do you mean? 
me. She goes, well, I've got somebody that makes me feel bad all the time, and it's a girl. And I'm going, well, of course. Bullies come in all shapes and sizes, but usually they're not, you know, they're not people that uh, look like they're going to be mean and nasty to you. So it could be anybody. It could look like your brother. It could look like your father. It could look like your mother. It could look like a teacher. And so what I want you to do while we talk about what we're going to be doing is we are going to, I want you to think of what a bully looks like. A bully maybe you have. Now keep in mind, I don't want you to talk about um, people's names. Let's keep names out of this. I know we all have, you know, people in our lives maybe that are bullies. I don't, let's not put names down because that can cause problems. I just want you to think about what a bully looks like and I want you to draw him full figure and I want you to put him in a place or her in a place, meaning that if it's outside, I want you to draw part of the outside. If it's indoors, like if it's in a hallway at a school, I want you to kind of draw that bully in the hallway or wherever you would like to put this bully. Now, I think it's also important that you, that because this is a poster, right, that it needs to be simple, doesn't have to be really, really cluttered with a lot of stuff. It can be real simple, a good poster. It's kind of really, a, a poster is kind of like what's called commercial art, right? Commercial art is, is um, a, a, a style of art that they make to sell stuff, you know, like advertising and logos and stuff like that. Um, and so, got to keep that in mind that what you're doing is you're selling a product with this poster, right? This poster is selling the idea that you should not be a bully. And maybe that you should be kind. That's what you're selling. You know, a lot of great artists in the world have not only done great work that, that, that's been in museums and stuff like that, but they also make stuff for products, you know, cereal, coffee, shoes, sports shoes, right? So I kind of want you to think like that, that you're, you're making this poster like an advertising, to advertise the idea that we sh no one should be a bully, okay? Now, what I want you to do, as I said before, what I want you to do is I want you to, to draw a bully. If you noticed here, this is what a real true bully looked like when I was probably in the sixth or seventh grade. I don't know, I can't remember. It's a long time ago. He was a big, big guy. He always looked real mean, and I tried to do that. Look at that. And I remember he had this he had this T-shirt that had a big eight on it. I don't know why it just was, but I, isn't it weird that here I'm an old old man and I can still remember this guy enough to be able to draw him? That's how bullies affect you. You know, they, you get hurt by a bully and it stays with you for a long time, and that's why it's so important that you don't be a bully. You don't be. A if you don't like to be bullied, you shouldn't be bullied, right? Doesn't that make sense? Yeah, I thought so. I think it makes real sense. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to think about what that bully looks like. Is it a girl? Is it a boy? Is it an older person? Is it, is it a younger person? Uh, and I want you to draw it. Now, I've got a large piece of paper here. Whatever piece of paper that you have, I really want you to try to draw it as large as you can. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have never seen my face before. I know I work with a lot of young people in school, so there may be some people out there that know me. But one of the things that I always say is, I never ask you for perfect pictures. I don't care about perfect pictures. 
All I want you to do is I want you to try. That's it. Just try to do your best and, uh, uh, and have fun. This should be fun. I hope that everybody is uh, hanging out, maybe in some sweats and, and you know, socks and, at home, and you can do this uh, at your leisure. Uh, so, figure out what kind of bully it is. Uh, if the only thing that you can do is stick figures, then draw the best stick figures that you can. Maybe put some clothes on. Uh, you can make them look mean. And at the very top, we're going to be making big bold letters that says, don't be a bully. And somewhere on our poster, what we're going to do is we're going to be put a little note that says, be kind. You know, there are so many bullies in this world already. We don't need any more. We don't need any more bullies in this world. And so keep that in mind. Is nobody likes a bully? And the fewer bullies that we have, the better. So, um, Grab you a pencil, grab you uh, uh, a piece of paper, and start um, uh, thinking about what you're wanting to do inside, in here. Figure out how you're going to compose a picture of this big old bully and leave enough room for your lettering. What time do we have? Uh, it's about time to talk about the second part of the video. We're at about 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, so, we're prepared. We talked about what video, what uh, uh, a bully is, kind of maybe what they look like, what they do. And you know, another thing, what we're going to do when we, when we come back uh, for break is we're going to talk about what do you do when you get bullied, right? That's important. We need to know, you have to have kind of a plan, right? I know I did. It took me a while to figure that out, but I figured it out what to do when you think you're gonna be bullied. So, I hope that I've given you enough information about what a bully is, but the, the simple direction of making a poster a commercial poster and you can hang this up in your bedroom or in the you know what wherever you want you can maybe if you're if you got a brother that kind of bullies you you might want to like hang it up in his room maybe you know so uh, keep that in mind and uh, we will uh, I will see you after this break come back I want to see these things bye bye